Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this um, video I'm going to show you how to set up a character um, or character animations for your game in Unity. So at the moment what we have here is a simple game with a character, a player here that can move left and right and can jump. Um, but you'll notice that there's no animation here. So the character kind of just slides along like that and when they jump um, they look exactly the same. So there's no walk cycle animation or any jumping animation or anything like that. So what we're going to do is create three animations. One for idle, for when the character is not moving. One for walking or running. Um, and one for jumping. Okay. And I've actually got separate images for those animations. So I've got a folder here with my player idle image, which is the one that I'm using at the moment for the player sprite. And I've got a jump image and I've got two images for walking. I've got player walk one and player walk two. So my animation for walking will just cycle between these two images. Okay, so if I go to my sprites folder, I've already got player idle, which is what I'm using for the player sprite. So I'll just drag these three other images in here for jumping and walking. I'll drag them into this folder on the project panel and there they are. So they're ready to use in my animation. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll select my player and I need to open up the animation window. So I'll click on window and animation and that opens up this uh, window here. And what we'll do is drag it down here so we can have it as another tab down here. So we've got the project console and now we've got the animation window down here. Okay, so when we, um, to start, adding an animation, we need to select the um, object we want to animate, which is the player. So I've got that selected. And first thing to do is click on add property. And we need to give this first animation a name. So the first one I'm going to create is the walking animation. So um, I'll pick in my folder too, I'll make sure I'm in the assets folder and I'll create a new folder called animations. And inside this folder, um, I'm going to call this one uh, player walk and I'll just click on save there. Okay, so what we can do now is just drag the images on here to this timeline um, for our walking animation and you'll notice that um, that I've actually got a red um, little record button here highlighted. So it means any change that I'm making now to my player is going to be recorded as an animation. All right, so I need to go to the project folder and I need in the sprites folder, I need to um, get these two images here for my walk animation and I need to add them onto the timeline here. Now it's gonna be a bit tricky to drag them from this window over to this window. So what I can do is I can go to the project panel and I can just break that off here and put it over here and go to the animation tab and now I can just drag, scroll down and find the ones that I want. I can drag these, these images on. So I'll start with the walk image, I'll drag walk one image, sorry, onto the timeline there. And so now that's the first thing on the timeline here. And we've got up the top here on the timeline, you can see the actual time up here. Okay. And at the moment it says samples 60. So that's uh, 60 frames Per second. So what I want to do now is I want that walk one as the first image on the animation and then I want walk two as the second image. So I can just drag walk two next to it like that and uh, let's just zoom in a little bit here so we can preview it. Click on play. Okay now that's way too fast. So we've got 60 frames per second here and we've got only two frames on this animation. Um, it doesn't look very good. So what we can do is reduce the number of frames. So we can make it maybe 30. Okay, it's improving, but still not very good. I'm going to go for maybe eight. Okay, so one thing, I, I've reduced the number of frames in the sample. Sorry, whoops, I've just typed that in the wrong box there. <laughs> right there. So I've reduced the number of um, frames in the sample but now it's too slow. And that's because um, 
basically these two images are too far apart. They should be next to each other. So I've got one frame here and one frame here. So now if we play it, let's click on play. That looks a lot better for a walking or running animation. So we've got basically eight samples here. So if you have a look here, this on the timeline, we've got one second here and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight samples in that second. And we've just got two images taking up these two blocks here in the timeline. So that works out quite, quite nicely. Just having um, two images there set to eight samples and right next to each other. So just make sure that you don't overlap them or you don't space them apart like that. Make sure they're just nice next to each other there on the timeline. Okay, one thing to remember, this record button is still highlighted. So if I was to go and change something in my scene, like maybe move my character to the right, that's actually going to record that as part of the animation. So now if I click on play, it shows the character actually moving, which I don't want as part of this animation. So I'm just going to undo that. So just remember while this record button is highlighted, it's recording anything that you change. So if you scale up or scale down the um, sprite or rotate it or move it around, that's going to actually become part of the animation. So all I want for this animation is to just change the images um, for walking. Okay, so I can click on that to stop recording and I can play it. And that's what it looks like. So I'm pretty happy with that walk animation. Now what I'm going to do is click on this little drop down here. I'm going to create a new clip. And this one is going to be called, we'll just go back to that animations folder. This one is going to be called player uh, jump. Save that. Okay, and so I'll go and find my player jump image and I'll drag that on there. And I actually only want one image for jumping. So I have my um, walk animation and when I press um, the space bar to jump, I just want it to change to this image as it, the character jumps. Okay, so I'm just gonna have one image here for this animation. So I'll click on stop recording and I'll go to this drop down again and I'll create another clip and this one store it in the animations folder again. This one is just going to be called player idle. And so this is the animation that will be used when the player is not actually moving, it's just standing there. So again, one image for this. And you can have any amount of images on this timeline here. You could have two, you could have 20, you could have 100 images on here as part of the animation. So if you wanted your walk or run animation to be a bit more detailed or smooth, then just add more images on the timeline. And I'm only going to use one image for idle, but you might want to use more images for your idle animation if you kind of want it to look like the players um, maybe breathing or something like that, or slouching when they're standing. Um, so that's up to you, but I'm just going to use one image. So I'll stop recording. And now I have three animations here, okay? So that's basically it. I'm going to drag my project panel back down here. Um, and I'm going to save my project. And that's it for now. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look at the animation controller. And then we're going to start actually um, uh, animating with code. So it's just, we'll specify when we want the walk animation to occur or the jump animation or the idle animation. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.